we had to be really careful because I, I, because of the situation with Maggie's talking about with all the, uh, oh, right. with all the people around and, and the, the extras and, and all that, we just, I was freaking out that day. And it was, it was the, hands down for me, and I wasn't there for, I was doing the room up here, I wasn't there for all of it, but this day was Maggie's last day. And then forty, and then forty-five minutes before that, it was Kirsten's last day, oh. mm -hmm. and we were a wreck. Uh, all wreck. I mean, it was. So it, it, if you can put like take eight years of, of closure and put it into one afternoon, it was. Uh, it was Dan Miller's last day. It was Dan, Dan, Dan Miller. Miller. Yeah, yeah it was Dan Miller. It was homegrown uh, first AD that started. It was with started. Yeah, it started with us as a twenty-year-old third AD. Yeah. And one of the interesting, most interestingly good-looking men that, uh, that, uh, that we've had working on our crew. It was, it was a Timothy object about of him. He <laughs> <an amazing picture. laughs> so I've been told. Uh, I have a question for for James. Um, you've done several homage episodes over the years. If you had an opportunity to do one more, what would it be? Hmm. That's a tough one. I feel like I kind of checked off most of my boxes. I always say porn, and it's half, it's, half, it's half joke, but it's half serious because I think us doing a Boogie Nights episode would have been pretty phenomenal. Oh. Dirk Butler? Ah. If we could have figured out a way to sort of surf around the subject matter, um, I think, you know. Can you imagine that meeting? The reaction? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know, Corpse. Corpses, yeah. Burt Reynolds would have been pretty sweet. <laughs> you know, Mags on roller, roller girl. Roller girl. I mean, uh huh. And the yep. whole, you know, Juliet's whole thing is that she takes it too far when she goes undercover. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. O'Hara, the hell are you doing? <laughs> and Kevin, you've gotten chosen to to host this final. Oh, <laughs> oh, this is you're so your night, but yeah, sorry. Uh, well, I mean, you did such a great job hosting the Psych After Show. Have you been a fan of the show since the beginning? I, you know, actually, Adule and and James came on. I used to host a show called Attack of the Show, and they came on, and that's when I started watching. And so, to be asked to be a part of this night, I mean, was a yes right away. Like I, I was so worried about getting in the way of it in any way, and you guys were all so amazing. So thank you thank for that. You. It was really you a joy. You always seemed like you were part of the cast. You were so great. I tried. I got in uh, at the very end. But uh, they said if there's a ninth season, I get to walk on. So I'm excited about that. Bronze pineapple for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I have a question for all the cast and crew. Could you guys tell us about all the future projects that you have going on? We know Tim has Galvant. Maggie has Save the Date. Uh, can you guys, and Dulé, you're on Broadway right now, still with After Midnight. <laughs> so can you guys talk about what you guys have, in, have coming up? And please, James, when can we expect another Red Dog Squadron production, please? Uh, yes. yes, James. Yeah. 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 That stars Tim. <laughs> starts, yeah. <laughs> yes, that stars Tim. You need to play uh, Well, we finally uh, broke ground on our renovation of the, uh, the new Circle Theater. That's probably going to be a four-month project, so I'm going to go ahead and conservatively say uh, late summer, early fall. That's nice. Yeah. We'll, we'll reopen it. It'll be awesome, and probably do two shows: um, a Red Dog show and a Black Dog show, which is Matt Shackman's company, who's directed several sites as well. That's and, gonna uh, Black Dog, no Black Dog. Black Dog. Black Dog. Yeah. We'll get we'll get our we'll get back into some some LA Equity Waiver Theater. Yeah. Corbin has already agreed to design uh, the set for our first show. <laughs> That's not a joke. Good. Sweet. <laughs> So yeah, so thanks. Thanks for asking about Red Dog. I'm just excited about finally playing the Dane. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to be doing Shakespeare there? Uh, I think I begged you once before. I, you know, if we could come up with a way to, to maybe spend Shakespeare, you know, you don't have, maybe. Nobody does it at all, so why do you have to spend it? Well, because we mostly do original work, and Shakespeare is the antithesis, because not only is it not a, a new and original, it's really old and awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, maybe down the line. Do a dress re yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, And then I have to say, uh, uh, because Dulé is here as well, uh, the movie that I made, Gravy, is, is making its, uh, I suppose, North American premiere uh, this April 1st, uh, the opening night selection of the Friars Club Comedy Film Festival. Wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Who knew that they had a festival? But yeah. <laughs> we're opening it. Yeah, so um, 
I'll be in New York um, on April 1st to, uh, to present that, and I think it's going to be a, an awesome night. So. And I'll be at the party. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and I can tell so you, it's a, it is a great movie. I mean, it's fantastic. I love it. Kurt, you haven't seen it yet. I have seen it. <laughs> I've, seen it. I've heard about it. I've seen some tweets. That, no. I've seen it, and it's fantastic. It is. It's the... It's, I, I'm so happy it's playing near the comedy <coughs> festival because it is such an, an unbelievably odd mashup of yeah. really, really dark horror and unbelievably funny uh, moments. And and I think it's it for for it to be at a comedy festival, people can finally approach it from the I right direction. I think it's good. I think people will know now that it's okay to, to laugh at the horrible things that are happening. <laughs> <laughs> and to save his soul, my movie Christian Mingle will come out. <laughs> <laughs> Let me explore God, faith, family, and community, and all the good things in life. It's for him. So that's why I'm actually dedicating the movie for James Rene. That's what cannibalism is, huh? And Jimmy Simpson is one of the leads of uh, of Gritty. So the well, the, the side cast were 18 and over. Yeah. They really enjoy the movie. You get Jimmy Simpson, you get Sutton Foster, you get Michael Weston, you get Sarah Silverman. Wow. You get Paul Rodriguez. Gabby Paul Rodriguez. Sidibe. Yes. Duleho. A little bit of Duleho. A little, a little bit of Rodeo. You won't recognize it. Dollop. I didn't know if we could say that. That's it. Oh. No, you said it before. Yeah. Like pineapples. You don't know where we're coming from. You don't know where we're coming from. <laughs> What's up with Good Session? Good Session is a, a CBS pilot that uh, a very, very funny, talented man named John Hamburg <coughs> has written with another man named Matt Miller, and, and Hamburg is also directing, and uh, we can do it. Because uh, Safe Mint, which is a film that John Hamburg made in 1998, was the reason that my best friend and psych writer Todd Hartman and I started writing screenplays. Mm -hmm. Wow! And, uh, yes. and he called, and I answered, and it was one of those deals. So I'm looking forward to that as well. And in a perfect world, you get Maggie Lawson, Ben for Dave, paired up on CBS on one <laughs> night. This is, this is crazy. Psychos will be school. Maybe so Wednesday excited. nights at like nine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right now. Yeah. But who comes first? Welcome to Sam Psych. Oh boy. <laughs> 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 <laughs>